Okay, in this session I'll talk about the Bernoulli's equation applied to a potential or irritational flow. Okay, so I'd like to talk about a few things beforehand. You remember the Bernoulli's equation, very commonly used equation in fluid mechanics, right? So this is basically what it means. So I can take two points, okay, and I can equate these uh, terms to each other. Remember that this is only applicable for any two points on a streamline, right? So this was the approach that we have discussed when we were discussing the conservation of energy in control volume principles, okay? Now, let's talk about what a potential flow is. I discussed this, but I just want to have a repeat once again, okay? So potential flow or irritation of flow is obtained by this, okay? Del U del Y is it really equal to del V del X? Also del U del Z, is it really equal to del W del X? Also del V del Z, is it really equal to del W del Y? Okay, so if all these three are satisfied, then my flow is irrotational flow or potential flow. And as I mentioned before, for a 2D flow where U and V are present and W is zero, you simply need to look at this equation. The other two are automatically satisfied, okay? So now, if this is satisfied, okay? If this is satisfied, what I will say is I will actually fairly relax the assumption that this needs to be on a streamline, okay? So I will be able to relax this assumption. And what I'm gonna say is P1 over rho plus V1 square over two plus GZ1 will be equal to the same equation, basically. The, this is the uh, Bernoulli's equation. Now, this equation is applicable between any two points. They don't have to be on the same streamline. For a rotational or potential flow, okay? So the power here is that I have to really be careful that I'm doing this for the conservation of... Okay, I have to be really careful here and make sure that this is a potential or irrotational flow. As long as that is satisfied, I can simply go ahead and equate this equation for any two points in my flow. You don't have to be on the same streamline, okay? And let's assume that I check this equation, the irrotational condition, and that's not satisfied, okay? I understand that this is not an irrotational flow, but it's a rather rotational flow. I can still use my Bernoulli's equation as long as the two, two points are on a streamline. That can get tricky because you may not know the equation of the streamline. Also, sometimes we write this equation this way, Okay, so v square over 2g plus z1 will be equal to p2 over specific weight 2, this is 1, plus v2 square over 2 plus z2. Okay, so what is the unit of each term over here? What's the unit of this? What's the unit of this? So obviously the units of, of, of these are length, okay, because I'm summing up this term, this term, and this term, they have to have the same units, right? So that's the power of it. This, sometimes this is called pressure head. This is called velocity head. And this is called elevation head. Now, the question is why did I cover this right after the Euler's or Euler's equation, okay? The reason is, is that actually, as you note here, we discussed that the U, V, W, and P are unknown, okay? And if you look at the Bernoulli's equation, that pretty much covers the same thing. So the velocity is obtained by a combination of U, V, W, right? And the P. So if a question gives you the, the velocities or components, and if it's asking you the pressure, now you have an option. You can simply go out and use the Euler's equation. However, you may want to note that these equations are fairly complex, right? And when I look at this equation down here, it is much easier, right? Mathematically speaking, or physically as well, 
it's a much more simple equation so I may want to be preferring to use the Bernoulli's equation whenever I can okay so my my I will write you a hint about this because I see issues in my deliverables if you look at the Euler's equation so this can be used pretty much any case right and if I want to use the Bernoulli's equation this is the alternative okay and what it will do is for two points on a streamline what I would like to note that you may want to check the assumptions with the Bernoulli's equation we have additional assumptions that needs to be satisfied such as steady inviscid incompressible etc okay or this is the second path for any two points for potential flow okay so these are my three options okay the first option is I can go ahead and use my user's equation I need to know the direction that I'm traveling in if I'm traveling in the X I'm gonna use X if I'm traveling in the Y I'm gonna use Y if I'm traveling in the Z direction between my two points I'm gonna use the Z direction I can use the Bernoulli's equation as long as the underlying assumptions are satisfied between any two points on a streamline okay or if additional uh, investigation finds out that I have a potential flow so I can use this between any two points in my flow.